So today I would, thought I would take just a minute and show you how to make a butt joint. And I don't like my face as deep in videos, so it's kind of funny that way. Um, but when you're building your armor, you have to somehow connect two pieces together. And this is kind of flimsy, so um, the best way to do it is to create a butt joint. Now, I don't know where the term comes from, but if you can see, I've already done one here. What you do is you glue a thin strip of your ABS on either side of this and then you'll glue them together, clamp them, let them dry, and that is your butt joint. So to start off with, um, I have discovered this, I made a mistake. What I should have done was glued my plastic first to each side and then glued them together. Whereas I wasn't really thinking this through when I started and I just glued this side together and then I was like, oh, this is harder to do now. So don't make my mistake. Um, instead work on just one side at a time and glue both sides on. So the first thing you're going to do is of course cut your, um, your strip. And as I've shown in the past, you're going to score and snap. And it's not too hard to do. Um, you take your spare sheet of ABS. You have a, I have a metal ruler right here. And um, you put on your gloves, of course, cut your thing, snap it, and you end up with your piece. So I've gone ahead and I've got mine right here. Um, I measured mine to be just a little bit less than my side so that it would fit nicely underneath. Um, I chose mine to be a little under an inch. Um, it's in between three and a quarter inch and um, so would that be seven eighths, mine seven eighths. Now I'm using E6000 glue. It's actually a very strong adhesive, it's industrial. Um, it pretty much, it almost bonds it together pretty firmly. It's not quite the same as a plastic well, oops. But it oozes out. So what you do is you go ahead and you're gonna run your thin line of glue all the way down, all the way down. Now this stuff oozes quite a bit and kind of developed a method where you pull on this and it resucks it back in. Um, wipe off what you can and then hurry put your, it, the, putting on the lid will actually stop it from oozing out but if you squish it too much it just oozes forever. So you don't want a ton because again it oozes and it doesn't need a lot. So the steps just involve simply putting on glue and then actually sticking it. Here I'm kind of eyeballing that it's going to be in between and you're going to be using clamps. These are just dollar clamps. They're very strong that I got at my local, you know, Menards or Lowe's or Home Depot and they're all just the same. And then you're gonna go ahead and clamp it down. Um, the one thing you have to double check in this step is that you don't clamp down the other side, obviously. Um, if you do it this way, don't do it my way. But you wanna make sure that your clamp's not sitting where the glue might ooze out or you're gonna glue your clamp to your um, piece, which would not be good. Um, these are rubber tips, so at least you can kind of work the clamp off and then you know chip out the rubber if you need to. And then, um, but if you look here on my inside, um, there is oozing glue, glue, so I'm just being kind of careful. And I'm clamping it so that it, you know, it's not gonna overlap that ABS strip on the edge there and get into oozing, any oozing glue. Um, and then any, but once you clamp it, that's when the glue really oozes out. So one of the things you have to kind of do is kind of clamp it and then pull it up and look at it and double check that there's no glue underneath it on this end either. Yeah, and then what I do is wipe any glue off that's along this edge because the glue will ooze out on that edge and then it will dry and that's not a bad thing but um, what happens is once it's dry, you're gonna have to chip at it with your fingernail and remove it because you want this piece of plastic to glue right flush next to this and any glue will keep them from being as close together as possible and it makes it look like a, a bulkier seam rather than a nice smooth seam which is what you want to have that kind of look. Now if you really want no seams at all, like a clone trooper, then what you have to do is you have to actually make your ABS paste, slather that on, fill in the crack and then sand and sand and 
you have to sand a little bit every day or it kind of bubbles because the ABS paste has still got a lot of acetone, it's kind of wonky. Um, but then you sand them and then you polish them up and then they look like a seamless piece. So if you want that super seamless look, that's what you're going for. Now we have different options here. You can use magnets, which I keep mine in pairs and then you just open them up. They have a left or, um, you know, like a north or south directionality so you can't just turn them around and you can just, you know, then you just clamp them real quickly together. Um, or I'm going to just use another clamp for the middle. Just like the other piece, I'm gonna double check on the inside that my clamp isn't extending up where I can see glue oozing. And I also put my glue on the far end of my little strip here in the middle um, so that it will ooze out more this direction than that direction toward where my seam is. Ta -da! Now this just sits. The clamps make a nice little stand. Um, this is just a cut up old t-shirt. So yeah, the clamps will go ahead and just sit and you let this cure for about 24 hours and then it's pretty much fused and you'll find that it makes this nice, um, lovely scene.